Charity Cozy Co and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really easy crochet cup cozy that's perfect for beginners. I'll also be showing you some adjustments that you can make to make sure that it fits the cup that you plan to make it for. For my cozies I like to use Paintbox yarn Simply Chunky. I find it gives it a nice sturdier structure so it holds better on a cup. I also like to use the Starbucks reusable cups as a guide to help me figure out how big my cozies need to be. I like to use a 5.5mm crochet hook. You might find that you need a 6 to cover the cup that you'd like to use. It just depends on um, the tightness, but for me 5.5 works perfectly for a Starbucks reusable cup. If your chunky yarn is slightly thinner, I know chunky is meant to obviously be similar, um, but I know I have found I've used various different chunky yarns. I know the Stylecraft Chunky is slightly thinner than the Paintbox Chunky, so I find that using a 6 for that makes it the size that I need it. For Paintbox yarn, I find the 5.5 crochet hook works perfectly. So to begin, I'm going to chain 27. So you make your slip knot. and you put your hook through and you hold the tail between your thumb and your ring finger and you make 27 chains Don't forget to count that you do have 27 and you count the bumps. Now you're going to form a circle with your chain. You need to be really careful that you don't twist the yarn here, but what you want to do is you want to bring the end of your chain to the beginning part up to your hook and you're going to insert your hook into the very first chain that you made. And we're going to pull the yarn through to close the circle. Okay, now as you're working, obviously making sure that you're not working into the back of your crochet, you're working into the front of your crochet while trying not to twist the, while trying not to twist your circle. So now we're going to chain one. We're going to work into the stitch that we slip stitched into to form the circle. Go into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through. Now you should have two loops on your hook and you yarn over and you pull through those two hoops. So that's now your first double crochet into your into your cozy circle. So now we're going to work 26 more double crochets into your foundation chain. So again, into the stitch, yarn over, should have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through them. And we continue to do that and keep making sure that you're working on the inside of your crochet, not working through the back loops and twisting your circle. I'm going to continue working my double crochets and I'll meet you back when we're done. I now have 27 double crochet using UK terms and single crochet using American terms. We're going to now close our circle again 
by working into the first double crochet that we made in this round. So not into that chain one stitch, into the first double crochet that we made. So we insert our hook under the two bumps there. We pull through and slip stitch in. And that's our first round of the cozy completed. This is where you want to check that the cup that you're making this for, that it's going to fit. So I'll show you how I like to test it. So I'm going to turn it around so that now I've got the right side of the project facing. I'm going to get my cup and just test that this actually is going to hold nicely. So if I push it up, I can see it's nice and loose at the bottom, and the further up I go, it's holding nicely. So this is when you need to adjust. If you find that you can't get it onto your cup, or you find that it's way too loose, and if you pinch it, you've got too much space on the cozy, so it'll just drop off, then you're gonna to wanna to unravel everything. You might want to add an extra stitch in your foundation chain, or you might want to lose a stitch in your foundation chain, but you can play around and see what works up until you get to this point and it fits nicely around the cup that you want to make it for. Right, I'm gonna continue working now. So I'm going to turn it back around so that my wrong side's on the outside and my right side's on the inside. And I chain one again to start my next round. And now we're gonna change the stitch. So we are going to chain, I think, um, we're gonna chain half treble UK terms or half double crochet in American terms. And again, we're working into the stitch that we slip stitched into. So we yarn over into the stitch, yarn over, pull through. Now we have three loops on our hook and we yarn over and pull through all three hoops. And again, we're gonna work 27 of these. So that was my first one. So now I've got 26 more to work around to get back. So we'll do another half treble. So yarn over into the next stitch. We've got three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. And we continue doing that all the way around. So 27 half trebles. Now we've done 27 half trebles or half double crochets in American terms. And again, we're going to slip stitch into the very first half treble that we made. We now have two rounds of our cozy. So we've got the double crochets or the single crochets that we started with on the foundation chain. And now we've got the second round of our half trebles. So we repeat this previous step three more times. So we should have one row of single crochets, American terms or double crochets in British terms. And then we're gonna have five rows of half treble crochets. I'm going to go ahead and add four more rounds of half trebles, always starting with a chain one, and we always work into that same stitch that we slip stitched into. So I'm going to go ahead and add my rounds now, and I'll meet you back when we're done. Okay, so now we have one row of double crochet or single crochet American terms and we've got one, two, three, four, five rows of half treble you uh, half treble crochet UK terms or half double crochet American terms. So now I'm going to slip stitch in to join it. 
And now I'm going to do my final round to balance it out so it looks sort of even on the on the bottom and the top. I like to do the next round as double crochets or single crochets. So again, as always, we chain one and we work into the same stitch that we slip stitched into. Yarn over, two loops on our hook, yarn over. So there's our first double crochet or single crochet. So now again, I'm going to work 26 more, so 27 in total all the way around. Let's go. Okay, so now we've got 27 double crochet UK terms, single crochet American terms, and now we're going to finish it off. Again, we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch that we made to close our round. And now I'm going to turn it so that the right side is facing. Actually, before we tie it off, let's just double check that actually it does fit the cup that we want to put it on. So I consider this to be the back. You can't really see the joins. It's not a very obvious line, but I do like to use this side as the front because it's just much cleaner. So let's test it out. Okay, I'm happy with the fit of this, so I'm happy that I can tie it off because it fits perfectly. It's nice and snug. There's a little bit of room, so if I did want to put it on a slightly bigger cup, that was going to be fine too. That would be fine too. Right, let's finish it off. Cut it off, leaving a tail. All we do to tie off is you pull through and then pull it tight. Right, so the last step obviously is to sew in your ends. And turn it the right side again. And there you go, you've got a finished cozy. I like to consider the bottom obviously being the foundation stitch you can see a slight difference there um, the double crochets that went into the foundation stitch as opposed to those ones if you look at them that's more like twirly I guess um, very technical crochet terms there and then you can actually see the nice fat stitches at the top there the very last row that you did so I consider that the bottom of the cozy and at the top of the cozy also because this is slightly tighter because of your foundation stitches so then it holds nicer onto the bottom of the cup that you're that you're making it for but there you go you've got your finished cup cozy what I would do obviously for my shop is I add a felty to it and it adds a bit more decoration to your cup cozy although a plain cup cozy is really fun as well you could sew buttons on you can get really creative about what you stick on really I just use hot glue and I attach it on so you might be able to find little appliques or things perhaps uh, through craft websites or eBay that you could get to stick onto your cup cozy and then in terms of washing it I'd always recommend to hand wash it but there you go, you've got your finished cup cozy and enjoy your decorated coffees and takeaways. I'd love to know in the comments below if you plan to make this, are you making it for yourself? What color are you gonna choose? Or are you making it as a gift? Who are you gonna make it for? Let me know. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and I'll help as best as I can.